Welcome to another Creature Walkthrough tutorial. Uh, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a front-facing character with a subtle breathing motion. And before I start off, I want to say thank you to OTK Games. This art asset is provided by them, and you're going to see how we're going to animate their art asset. It's called the Executioner. Very cool. Check out the links below for more information. Okay, so here are the meshes for the character. Okay. Let's go to the rig. Here is the rig with the various regions put together. And here is the skeleton. Right, you can see it's basically a human skeleton. And I put in a chain of bones at the top of the hat for some dynamic floppy behavior, which you'll see in a moment what we're going to do with it. And we have these bones coming out here. Let me just zoom in a bit so you can take a look. These bones over here, that is also for more dynamic motion. We're going to make the flesh actually move with the breathing. Okay, so here it is. Here's the character. Now let's start animating. I already have an animation done for this character. It's this guy smashing down the axe. And this is a good example of using the creature's procedural system together with some manual animation. The actual motion of the character moving, you know, smashing the axe down, that's FK animation. And everything else is taken care of by the procedural system, including the physics and the breathing motion. So today we're going to do a breathing motion, a basic breathing motion to get you up to speed to see how it's done. Okay, so first off, let's make a new clip. I already have a clip called test, and I'm going to make a new one. Obviously, it's called test two. Okay, so there's no animation in this character, and we have to start animating. The first thing we're going to do is we should actually, let's do the breathing motion. Let's do the up and down sort of breathing motion. So let's select the root bone, which is this guy over here. And the standard trick we use is to use the move bounce motor. Okay. Again, if we play it now, it looks ridiculous because we haven't set any values correctly. So let us start tweaking. First off, I'm going to obviously set some lower lower values for for this 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 character. I'm just going to see what we get first. Okay, so that is the wrong direction. Let's change the direction. Let's see what we get. Okay, that's more like a up and down motion. And we have to change obviously the speed of the bouncing motion. So let's let's set it to I don't know five and we don't really want it to move laterally that much, I guess. So like a point five. Let's see what we get. Maybe it's moving up up and down too much. So let's do a three. Okay, something like that. We'll tweak it more later. And then finally, well not finally, we're gonna have to lock down the legs. Right? So let's 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 try either an IK, let's try an IK motor. Let's see what we get. The angles for the leg are wrong. So again I move my mouse over to the valid IK angles. I switch from positive to negative. Okay. For this leg over here, same deal. IK motor. Okay. Something like this. Let's see uh Ah, there you go. So now we have him doing some kind of uh, up and down motion. Maybe it's a bit too much. So we can actually reduce the speed. Well, we can reduce both. We can use speed, maybe the two first to see what we get. Okay, and then we reduce the amplitude. Okay. There we go. That's a bit more, more like what we're going for. Right. So we have that done. The next thing we're actually going to do is we should probably, let's see, what, sh what should we do here? Oh, we should actually set the arms for IK as well, right? So we want to IK the arms. So let's give it an IK motor. Oh, that looks ridiculous. So let's flip the angles all right there we go and we do the same deal with this guy as well sorry over here okay something like this there you go okay cool right 
Now the next thing we're going to do is actually going to have some breathing motion. Right? That's the whole point of this this tutorial. And one trick we can do is we can actually install a rotate cycle motor at the base. Why are we doing this? You see why in a moment. Let's let's do a rotate cycle motor at the base. Play it, and it's going to look ridiculous because it's moved the it's going to move the flesh too much. So we're going to set angle limits, just very very tiny angles, five degrees. Let's say negative five degrees to five degrees, and see. There you go. Okay, and it's actually subtly, move, subtly moving the flesh here. And we can obviously up the speed of this, this uh, breathing to say three. It's a bit too much. Let's set it to say 1.5. You can tweak this obviously all you want to get the kind of breathing behavior. And so, so now you see the, the flesh is actually moving up, oscillating up and down. So again, let's uh, set the same thing here. Same deal, rotate cycle motor for this guy. Okay, and let's set it to five degrees, negative five degrees. Let's give it a plausible speed. So what do we have this guy to just now? 1.5. Okay, so we also need this guy to be 1.5 actually. Okay, except, uh, well, this guy is moving in the wrong direction. We have to flip it, right? So we have two choices. You can obviously negate the speed. That's one way to do it. Okay, cool. There you go. So now you actually have the character sort of doing a, a rough breathing motion. And I think I'm going to lower the, the move, the bounce, bounce speed, because I think it's a bit too much now. We want it to sort of be in sync with the breathing, right? Yeah. And I, I think I'm also going to lower the amount of bounce. It's just a bit too much. So a bit more subtle, or maybe just a bit more, sorry. It's, it's tweaking is it's kind of one of those things. Okay, cool. All right, now, that's we're not done yet. The tips of the bones, we're gonna give them more dynamics. I'll stand a trick, a band physics motor, set to physics mode of motion, and we're gonna do the same thing for these guys over here as well. If it's hard to select, you can actually use the panel over here. Just open that up, select the bone here, okay? And click band physics. And now set it to motion and let's play it. There. We don't actually want gravity. Okay, you notice, you know, at the beginning it sort of wobbles, right? And it's kind of weird. We don't need gravity in this case, so set set it to zero. And for this guy too, we can set gravity to zero. And we probably want to up the damping, make it just damped a bit more. So let's set it 30. There. So now we get this nice wavy feel, right? Which is the flesh breathing, contracting up and down. Kind of cool. And we're actually almost there. Or are we? We can do more st more with this character. Let's make the head just slightly rotate left and right. Standard trick in a book, install motor. Let's pick the rotate cycle motor this time. Obviously, if you play it, <laughs> rotates too much. Ridiculous. Again, set the angle limits. Let's try five degrees and Negative five. I always always like to start low. Okay, so it's easier to control. Maybe even less. Two degrees and negative two. So there you go. And we can we can add even a bit more dynamics to this. We can you know put even more rotate cycle motors to this guy. Again, very subtle angles, two degrees and negative two degrees. Okay. Can make him out of sync. So let's tweak the face to one. Just a bit, just a tiny bit. Okay? And we can obviously do the same thing for this guy over here. Let's give him a rotate cycle motor. Again, two degrees, negative two degrees. Let's Let's play it and see what we get.
Okay. Now, finally, the hat. We want to make this wobbly, and that will be a band physics method, obviously. Again, set the, the mode to, to motion. Okay, the hat is a bit too stiff, so let's reduce the stiffness. Let's say to 30. Let's see what we get. So now it's suddenly wobbling. We want we, let's let's make the head wobble just just a bit more, right? So that we can get more of a floppy hat behavior. And I'll turn off the bones so you can see how the character looks. It's pretty dynamic. And there you have it. Here is our subtle breathing character carrying an axe with a floppy hat. All done with Creature's procedural motor system. Thanks for watching and happy animating.